the approach of the medieval philosophers in doing philosophy. First, Augustine, his approach is rooted in his faith. For him, faith is the epistemological source of knowledge. In his confession, we will um, see the dynamics of his philosophizing, the desire of Augustine to know himself and to know God. In his d dialogue, this in his philosophizing, it's important to dialogue. I think to dialogue to God and to dialogue with himself. And God gave him this um, instrument to remembering, remembering of his past, of his own history. That. God is there in his infancy, in his childhood, in his adolescent life, when he went to Carthage, when his friend died, God was there. And looking back to his experience in life, he was able to recognize that there's a restlessness in his heart that to praise God it's not just praising him in an earthly pleasure not just in having more sex and restricted sex in a cartridge or to be successful in doing um, philosophy like Plato, Platonism, or um, that his experience in life gives him wisdom. His experience in life lead him to to know God. Lead him to to experience God. Actually, when he accidentally read, I don't know if it's accident, but it's a, I think it's the way of God for him to, to, to know him. When he read the book of Cicero, and that's the time that um, he was able to differentiate philosophy the way of philosophy of the uh, Greeks and he knows that there's something missing in um, the philosophy of Cicero and that is the love of wisdom and God used it to inflame his heart to be restless of knowing God to be restless of finding his love and that's, the, and that's the beginning for him to to read the scripture that's the beginning for him to 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 know God because of that because of that book God uses the instrument for him to be on fire he uses his heart in doing philosophy the second thing is um, the, the similarities of Plato and Augustine when it comes to the view of body and soul. For both of them, the important is the soul. But for Augustine, the, the body is also important. It's just that there's, there is a hierarchy that for him soul is important or eternal is important 
So for me, if um, the soul is important, or because that's how we communicate God, if our communication with God is healthy and good, then for sure our body is okay. I think that's why he chose to be religious for him to be chaste, for him to protect his body. To be he chose to have to choose God. To choose God to protect his body. So the the for him to 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 praise God is a choice. To live a joyful life it's a choice. We have a free will and we have to choose God. And although we are predestined to God, but it's always our choice. It's always our willingness to choose God because for him until we choose God then our hearts is no more restless so that's how the philosophy of Augustine the dialogue with God knowing himself in knowing himself he knows God the experience of life gives him wisdom. The second is Anselm. At this point, there's a bit transition from, from faith to reason. But it's for Anselm, it's faith seeking understanding. He said, I do not understand to believe, but I believe to understand. Faith first before understanding. In his prayer, I think this is very important in his his prayer. And proslogion is all about prayer. First is that teach me to seek you on how to seek you. Teach me on how to seek you and find you. Or he is asking God to teach him. Teach me to desire you. Teach me to desire in seeking you. This desire, the same as Augustine, this desire is endless. Sometimes we get lost. Oh, Desiring something that we do not know what it is. But this time, Anselm is asking God to teach him to desire him, to teach him to educate him, to purify his desires. For him to go to seeking, for him to, to lead in seeking, to have a good direction. And in seeking, he even asked, teach me to seek you in finding you. Well, to find God, to discover God, to discover who is God. Teach me to find you in loving you. This this dynamic of approach of knowing the Lord that leads him into this next um, his way of the second thing is his way of doing philosophy the transitions as what I've said earlier that faith to reason he is famous with this um, ontological argument of the existence of God though he doesn't need to prove that God exists 
but this is a way for him to understand who is God. A God is inaccessible. Who is um, for the human being is um, limited. In his first, in, in the ontological, that God exists. If we believe that God is, exists in our mind, God exists in reality. That if we believe that there is love, if we think in our mind that there is love, and when we experience love, with our parents, we experience love, love of our parents, our friends, girlfriends, maybe. So, a community, and that is the greater than just the thinking that love exists. The, sec the third one is Aquinas, reason and faith. For him, reason and faith goes together. Reason is important. Faith is important as to religion and science. Aquinas give us the space to appreciate nature the natural law it's like the going back to the ancient to observe nature water fire this time the framework of aquinas is to to give a doubt to give us a doubt to have a space to doubt to use this the things that are available, to, and Aquinas wants us to encounter science, to encounter other beings, other the natural, the earth, for us to, to prove the existence of God. That it is possibility that through science or through our experience on earth, we can experience of God. That us, faith and reasons goes together. It helps us to connect more. Because we are here on the earth. And that is very important for him. The second thing also is for Aquinas, it's body and soul is important. Maybe I would like to to comment with Augustine with the, the hierarchy. Though one thing that I noticed also is that um, whenever we pray of our loved ones who are dead, we pray for the soul. I think we 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 in here the school of thought of Aquinas that the soul is very important but I realized that yeah I think the philosophy of Aquinas is very important the body and soul is important we just don't need to pray the soul but the body itself we just we, because when Jesus died, it was a transformed body, not just a soul. When he tried to 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 appear to his disciples, he has a body, but it it's not the same body, but it's a transformed body. So his. The, the philosophy of uh, the way he's philosophizing the 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 way of 
the this medieval helps me to to realize that experience of knowing oneself and the, the importance of prayer of dialogue with God in, in, in talking to God and the experience of nature will enrich us to, to know ourselves to know our environment to know God in John 3.16 God gave His Son to save the world to save the world means to save the humanity and the the world the earth I remember also that our existence is a consequence of a relationship with others that what, whatever we do with others we will lose maybe somehow if we don't relate or be with others well thank you so much <laughs>